Hello everyone and welcome back to All The Mods 8, once again checking out bases that our community has made. Uh, we are of course back on the map. We are checking out Tourette's on Fire's base today. They've been with the community for quite a little while as well. It's a recognizable name, if I say so myself. Uh, we've got a bit of things over here. We've got a bit of things down there. We've obviously got the main entrance over here. Um, and even some more stuff over there that I noticed. So, what it's telling me two things. One, that there's going to be a lot to look at. And two being that it's spread out quite a bit. I don't know if it all connects through the inside of this mountain. Um, but I guess we're going to find out. Now, the reason we're over here is, for one, because we were told to head over here. Uh, and for two, because of this, what we're looking at in front of us. Allegedly, behind this wall, I guess courtesy of that button right there, is a spectacular door. Now, I won't lie. I saw it because I spawned inside the base, but you guys are in for a treat. So this door is created with create. Obviously the blocks are, you know, all the modium blocks and some stone and stuff, but check out this. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, that, that is one of my favorite parts about create, like all the other stuff, like the farming and all that, like it's cool. But like being able to make cool doors and, and, and all that sort of stuff, I, I think it's just awesome. Um, there's an insane amount of stuff you can do with Create, in, in terms of doors especially. Um, so it is really cool to see them in action. I just want to see it one more time. There's like three layers to the door as well. Anyhow, that's pretty cool. Um, so now we're inside the base. Now, in terms of inside, it looks like, once again, the potential for this base in terms of if the walls were put in and everything was uh, properly set up is phenomenal. I, I still, I am tempted to one day come through some of these bases and just sort of like, just finish them in my vision. You know what I mean? Like, like finish off the walls, the design that they sort of had going here, just to experience what it would look like. Because I mean, all the, arguably all the hard work is done here in terms of setting up a base that is lived in, functional. We've got a bunch of immersive engineering stuff all poking out the wall here. Yep. There's that area. All of it looks to be hooked up to stuff. Um, but yeah, all the hard work in terms of getting the base set up and whatnot, there's a teleporter as well, has been done. It's just, you know, finishing off the walls and, and, you know, adding some glass where it's needed. That looks like to, like it's the main thing that's left. The controller in the middle. We see this on a few bases and it never fails to just look phenomenal. Um, all the cabling, I guess, is done under here as well. They've got some little sub networks, uh, making use of the P2P, uh, tunnels. So these are all, oh, they're all actually unlinked. Interesting. So is this just future proofing that's taken place? I think it is. Okay, that makes sense. And then I'm guessing inside here is just Okay, just one memory card. Interesting. Okay. Anyhow, <laughs> um, so this branches off in all different directions. The orange cables look quite nice. They look more gold than orange. Um got some stuff over here. All the create stuff. I think this is powering the door actually, if you sort of wanted to see behind the scenes on that. Sticky mechanical piston. So it's literally just pulling the piece back. Obviously, there's some on the side here pulling that piece back, and then it just, you know, reverses. Um, reverses using, of course, this guy over here, which um, is a gear shift. And I think, I, I think that's it, honestly. The gear shift just reverses the stuff. And so I'm guessing there's one up here as well, maybe, or... All right, I, I guess that this main one, once this changes, they all change, I guess. I don't know. Oh, uh, no, it'd be this uh, gear shift here that does that. That makes sense. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. There's plenty of tunnels around the place. Um, the base itself, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. There was going to be some uh, crafters in the walls there to get stuff done. We've got um, spot for more. Oh no, these are terminals. I was going to say I thought they were more P2P tunnels, but they're they're more terminals to access the stuff. So some sort of display was going to be here, I imagine, or, or at least it was going to be you know mounted on little podiums with some facades. Uh, but that looks really good. This is actually an elevator, despite looking like a uh, sea lantern. Before we go through that, I did want to check, I don't know which direction it's in, um, I wanted to check what's through here. Um, so we'll walk through. I think it's, the, I think we're in a different room. So we're now in the spot with the fusion reactor. So this is a, a reactor over here, uh, does some fusion, so it won't blow up or anything. That's why they're safe to, I imagine, have it deep under their base. All the fuel generation happening in this room as well. Once again, you know, hold it out. All it just needs is a nice little uh, makeover with the wall. Now, to be honest, there's a lot of ways to do that in this pack. Like, I think just an exchanging gadget. Oh, do we? Uh, exchange. There we go. Uh, the exchanging gadget does a pretty good uh, trick of that. You can just, like, right-click the wall and it will replace the entire wall with a type of block. Um, so, realistically, if we did ever want to do that, it would take, like, 
wouldn't take that long. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I could do that before I look at their bases, so that even the even the owner of the base hops in and they're like, or they check out the video and they're like, what? <laughs> I didn't do that. Um, anyhow, we'll hop back here. I, I like this area as well. I like seeing a little little lava area. So this is a geothermal generator with just some uh, low voltage cables hooked up to these uh, little FTB industrial contraption machines. There we go. Um, so I think we've looked at most of this stuff. I don't know if we went down every corridor, did we? Over here, we've got the energizing orb with a bunch of um, energizing rods in the walls. Once again, this room would have looked pretty nice. I, I really see them. Do they reach that far? Like that's a pretty long distance. I, I guess they do because it is hooked up with like some sort of automation. So I imagine that it works. <laughs> Otherwise the automation wouldn't make too much sense. In here, ME wireless transceivers. What's going on here? Connected to hydro beds chamber as broadcaster. ME wireless transceiver from Applied Energistics Editions. Is, I don't understand. Is this literally just wireless applied energistics? ME transceiver. I just want to check ME wireless, how much it costs and that sort of thing. So it uses some wireless receivers and stuff. Because obviously if you don't do that, you would have to use like a quantum gate, but I don't really, I don't really know. Um, we'll look over here. We've got some more machines. We've got a little mob spawning room. This guy's currently keeping it, keeping it safe and secure. Um, we've got some latex production. We've got a bunch of not sheep. Oh, and they crashed. Anyhow, as we were, we'll continue on our way. Um, so yeah, we were checking out this room with some animals. Um, Tharskalo the sticky and Frank the manly, and then of course just 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 a pig, just a casual pig. Uh, we've got a, I guess, pre-planning for a little area down there. Um, all right, we'll continue on our way. I believe now we can use the elevator. So we'll go up and up here. Oh, so this is where the, obviously that rocket area is. So some uh, takeoffs and whatnot might happen here. We'll set it for day, just to make it that a little bit better. Um, yeah, not, nothing too crazy. All the occultism stuff, <laughs> nothing too crazy as I look at the, um, the rocket ship and then turn around and comment on the occultism rituals. Nothing crazy, just... Just your typical base. <laughs> We've got the um, the elemental craft stuff here. Um, a few elemental pipes away from being a horrific situation. There's a repeat theme there, but we'll we'll move on before it gets too obvious. Um, I feel like there's been two bases so far. Look, look, we'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. <laughs> we'll let it slide. Um, so these are the hydro the hydroponic beds that we heard about earlier, um, that were connected with the this thing down here. Oh, uh, what what was it connected with? It was connected with the wireless um, applied energistics block, but I don't see that attached here unless it's like through the ground or something. I, I don't really. But it look look, it's literally just connected normally with cables. So I don't I don't necessarily know what that wireless guy does. Uh, uh, I'd be interested to to find that one out. Um, regardless, we've got some water in between these trap doors here um, with some lily pads of fertility that helps stuff grow. So as you can see, they grow pretty fast here. Um, and then obviously, uh, these growth accelerators do that as well. We've got a nice little planting farm here. And then we actually have the ATM star automation, although it's not hooked up with automation, at least as far as I can tell, unless there's some wireless item transfer happening. Um, but that's where it would in fact be. There we are. Now we do have these teleporters. We can jump through them. I wouldn't expect anything on the other side because, yeah, it's just, I don't know, a few interesting biomes. Um, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to pop in and have a quick look. Watch there be one through that portal, <laughs> the one portal we didn't go through. Um, okay. So, I wonder, you know, I reckon there was going to be another door here. D purely just because there's these two blocks there. <laughs> I'm sure that's, that's what was going to happen. Um, the elevator, here it is. Let's go ahead and jump up. Okay, so we're at the top floor. This is obviously, oh, this is the, oh, but, hold on. We are like, yeah, okay. So main floor, is there one below this? No, there isn't. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's open the door again. <laughs> I think this is it. I think we've checked it out. Oh, it's a beautiful door. It really, the thing is, it's so simple to make, but it, like the, the value you get from it is phenomenal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it looks so good. Um, now we did have the stuff over here that I wanted to just quickly look at. So yeah, we've got 
the solar neutron activators, I guess, working out over here, they have wireless trans transceivers too. And by the looks of things, it actually is wireless. It doesn't look like it's, um, you know, hooked up to any hidden cables or anything. It's genuinely, it's wirelessly transferring that stuff. So I don't, yeah. So I'm not too sure, but it appears to work. It appears to do its job. It looks like a very good block that I would have loved to have used myself in, in the packs I've been playing. Yeah. Okay. And then over here we had, I think, just some solar. I don't know why it's this far down, to be honest. I don't know why it's not up here. But I, I, I mean, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I don't know if there's a reason for that. If it generates more, the lower it is. That wouldn't really make sense in my eyes, but perhaps it does. But I believe that's it. Um, Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you to Tourette's on Fire once again for not only building this space, but, but for uh, being part of the, the community. Thank you. Um, I'll probably miss something, and uh, but hopefully I've done justice to looking at the rest of the base um, and, and hopefully giving you guys some vision in, in, in what you could do, even just in terms of a base layout, because I, I feel like as a foundation, it's a very good base layout. Like if you had that somehow as like a copy paste, just like these rooms, you know what I mean? And then sort of you build what you want in them, um, that sort of thing. That could be fun. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, in terms of a series, we'll probably start another one up soon. Maybe the next episode or, or whatever will be back to starting up another series. It looks like, I don't even really know the name of it, but everyone's moved on to play this one, I think. Plexiglass. So we may give that one a shot. I don't I don't really know how good it turned out to be, but um, it looks like what's people are playing. Uh, but it looks like it's on the FTB launcher. So if you're interested and can't find it, that would probably be why. But we'll check that out, see if it's fun. Even if we only do a few episodes, it'll be nice to get back into things. Uh, but hopefully these checking out base videos have been fun. Obviously there's an almost infinite amount more to look at. I would love to look at them all. We'll see what happens is essentially um, all I can tell you. But, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have been enjoying stuff. Um, thank you to our donators and channel members. Thank you to our tier three channel members, Melissi, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you guys. Don't feel pressured to. Feel free to, you know, um, un-channel member yourself whenever you whenever you feel like it um uh but thank you thank you to those of you who have um and i think that's it i don't actually have a th a thumbnail for this i was gonna get a thumbnail of inside the base but maybe do i get one with the door opening or, or is that like a spoiler well maybe it'll be fun regardless i reckon i reckon we may maybe i'll i'll try to be quick oh, I, oh because i'm in spectator mode am i in spectator mode yeah, okay, hold on. You know, I could probably do that off camera, but uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Do you reckon, do you reckon that sold it? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, goodbye.